Hey guys, my name is Alex and today my, And today we are going to read this story Guys, you can read <laughs> Guys, look at this, this girl is lay down <laughs> Oh my god, that girl is lay down too <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's go Wait, coming soon? Another gun coming soon? I cannot see it. <laughs> it's new story. Yeah, you mean? Guys, this is new. Guys, you know, this is new. <laughs> Wait, we need... Hello, you already purpose your ticket. You may enter on either side of the both. Enjoy the show. Okay. <laughs> I cannot believe. I want to hear that story. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. What? It's not evening. Right through the doors, please. Yeah, it's F. It's afternoon, not evening. <laughs> you always like this. You know what? I'm just gonna enter. <laughs> okay. The scary story is right. Don't do it. Mary in the mirror. Ah! Okay. Who wants to hear a scary story? Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, this is scary one, so get ready! Once upon a time, there was a belly named Mary Whitefort who lives deep in a forest. Ah, there's mirror! Guys, look, there's mirror! Okay. <laughs> Mary was a beautiful woman who had become a powerful healer and would make a potions with herbs to help heal people from their illnesses. She was the best healer anyone had ever known. Okay. The house is not bad. <laughs> Anyone who always comment about Mary's beauty and many men comfort her secretly but Mary was more interested in making medicine than getting married. Hmm. Wait, I want to see Mary how she looks like. Ah! I don't want to see her face. But then, one day, while Mary was out in the forest collecting mushrooms, she tripped over a chain and fell fa face first into a large bear trap, then snapped closet on her face. <gasps> Mary! break free a trap but her face had become horribly damaged. She refused to see anyone for a year. She tried different medicines to heal the scars on her face. Oh my gosh. Okay, next. 
but nothing worked. Finally, she gave up and des decided to wear a veil to cover her face and she went back to work healing people again. Anyone asked her what had happened over the last year and why she was wearing a veil. She told them that she had just needed time to study medicine more and that her eyes had become light sensitive so she wore the veil. Okay, next. <laughs> Then one day, a man named Lord Harlan showed up at her house. Lord Harlan was just one of the many men who do falling in love with Mary and he do come to ask her to marry him. He presented her a huge ruby ring and promised her all of his will if she would just marry him. But Mary didn't care about the money. However, she did in that. Find Lord her learned to be very handsome, charming, intelligent, and sweet. So she told him that if he would accept her as she is, that she would marry him. Okay guys, we can ride horse. <laughs> Lord, Lord Harlan was so excited. He Kneel down and said, Mary, I accept you as you are. Will you marry me? Mary answered, Yes, Lord Harlan, I will marry you. <laughs> Mary knew that Lord Harlan was a horrible man and a man of his world. So she just knew that he would not be concerned with how she looked now after the accident. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Mary Mary held out her hand and Lord Harlan slipped on the rain day and mm, aggressed each other and Lord Harlan raised his hands up to her face and took off the veil to kiss her. Oh no 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 oh no Once the veil was off, she smiled at him, but his eyes grew wide, and his face grinched in disgust as he jumped backward. What? What happened to you? You are a monster! He cried out loud. Yeah. In that single moment, Mary's heart was shattered. Completely. Lord Harlan ran from Mary's house screaming a lot. Witch! Witch! Mary V4 is a witch! What do you mean, bruh? She got trapped bear. What do you mean, she witch? Okay. <laughs> Which was not true at all. 
Bruh, what? Are they actually not weird to you, you mean? What the? So rude! You know what? I want to kill this prince, stupid prince. Yeah, you mean? You know what? I don't like this village because what? You know she healed the... You know the village. Yeah. And one more thing, she not witch. One more thing, her face got damaged from bear trap. Yeah. What you mean she witch? You guys are witch. They even made the um a uh, rhyme rhyme for her Mary Mary also lovely Mary Mary now so ugly Mary sat on the ground and wept as the villagers burned down her house and left. She got bear trap. You guys are dumb. After that, Mary moved deeper into the forest and lived in a small mud and grass hut. She was filled with anger at how horribly she was treated and she was bad rain. So she spent her time learning witchcraft and cast a spell on the world that would last forever. She wrote down on garments what that spell would do and left one garment in each village for all to know. What is that first spell? Okay guys, I don't know what kind is this spell, but... What? Which one? This, look. Okay, let's go, Yumi. <laughs> oh. The spell will curse anyone who repeated the ugly rhyme oh. that the villagers made up about Mary by turning their face into that of a real monster. Ah, that's what you get, huh? Come on, you mean let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> and if you repeated her name uh, times front of a mirror in darker room, she will appear inside of it looking back at you and something terrible happens wow oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god this is real mirror behind you And that was the story of Mary with Ford. The girl jumped up and dropped all of them into the pool. Oh, the girl was so crazy. 
No way! No, 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 no. Passenger high and sick. I see you, baby sister. Wait, what is that? Scary stories. We also watch read this too. We we also have this too. Okay, guys, that's all. And guys, then watch and you're gonna stand to bye.